The early warning weather with meteorologist Mike Cameron. All right, well, we have nice weather still coming our way tonight. Tomorrow, as we look towards Tuesday, even into Wednesday, I think we'll be able to squeak out a pretty good day. And at least in the shorter term, that being tonight, tomorrow, and into Tuesday, the humidity will stay low. Once we get into Wednesday, I think it starts to creep up. So first things first, where are we now? Well, with our neighborhood weather, you can see in West Haven, Kent, Lebanon, and also Bristol, temperatures have settled back a bit from our highs in the mid-70s. They're now in the 60s to around 70. We've still had a pretty busy wind. Lately, the gusts have still been up over 30 miles an hour. But what I do expect is for the wind to be diminishing tonight, too. So all things are pointing towards good weather. Uh, another thing that's pointing towards good weather is the departure of the storm system that did bring extra clouds to the sky at times today that did also even bring some sprinkles that is forecast to continue to move off to the east so it will continue to plague the canadian maritimes but not so much anymore so i think we can uh, put that one to rest uh, when we take a look a little closer to home with our satellite and radar you can see how it's just as quiet as can be now uh, there are still some patchy clouds out there but even now when you take a look at some of our eye cams like over middletown you can see how those clouds are actually really diminishing decreasing they're fizzling out um, as we're losing the instability of the day because the sun is going down and we've lost a lot of the heat even now. Here's our ICAM over Rocky Hill too. You still see some of these patchy clouds as we look closer to Hartford. And as I mentioned, again, temperatures are falling off a bit. Uh, a lot of towns are already seeing temperatures in the 60s. We have 69 in Willimantic, 67 in Putnam. Also there being a 66 in Torrington and 67 in Salisbury, I think puts us in a good position tonight to see temperatures probably maybe to around 50 or so in downtown Hartford. But I think where you're seeing those readings in the middle and upper 60s, I think we have a shot overnight tonight at seeing lows in the 40s. In fact, I'm forecasting about 47 for Torrington tonight, 48 in Waterbury. Uh, you see there in Norwich, 49 degrees. So you leave the window open tonight. You'll want the extra blanket handy. And if you've got the thermostat still set, the heat may kick on uh, by tomorrow morning uh, if you leave all the windows open. So it's a nice, chilly, very comfortable, good sleeping kind of night. And then tomorrow it's going to warm up really nicely because the air is going to be dry. And we'll be able uh, to efficiently have that air warmed maybe up to near 80 in Enfield. Upper 70s for Hartford. We're thinking 77 for northeastern Connecticut, also to Norwich. Northwestern Connecticut, I think you'll see highs in the mid-70s. And even along the shoreline, uh, I think we'll see temperatures into the mid-70s. I think we'll get a little bit of a sea breeze tomorrow because we won't have as much of a component of wind from land going offshore. So I think we'll be actually be able to see that dynamic start to set up during the afternoon. So that's why I think it will be slightly cooler in New London, New Haven, and Bridgeport for you tomorrow. When we take a look at the future cast tomorrow's weather today, what you are going to notice is that we're going to have clear skies tonight and with light wind. That's just going to be the perfect combination of conditions to set the stage for a very cold night and a starting point tomorrow with a lot of towns in the 40s. But as the day goes on, because that same air mass is in place, it's dry. It's going to be a clear sky. Those conditions allow for efficient warming as well. So as the afternoon comes, the sun it will be very effective. In fact, it's as about as effective as it can be in June. You've got the highest sun angle, so you're gonna get the warmest temperature rises. And, and some spots could see temperatures pretty close to 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon, especially as you look towards the Northern Connecticut River Valley up towards Bradley and also Enfield. I think that's where we have a shot at maybe getting close to 80 degrees. So in your early morning seven day forecast, you can count on Monday as being a day that's gonna be really nice with temperatures in the mid seventies to around 80 degrees. Uh, and then as we take a look at Tuesday as well, I think 77 to 83 will be the spread. Still we'll have low humidity with lots of sun. Wednesday, maybe a touch more humid, but still comfortable enough, anywhere from 77 to 84. But Kevin, really, especially Thursday and Friday, I think you really notice the humidity on the increase. And during those afternoons, and especially Thursday afternoon, I think we have a good shot at some showers and some thunderstorms.